Arif, yes, there are number of physicists, mm. including you, mm. who are not convinced with the idea that time is the fourth dimension. Okay. Can you explain the reason behind it? There are plenty of reasons. Uh, there are there are like several reasons that makes us comfortable. Like uh, along with me, there are like number of people who are not convinced with the idea that time can be the fourth dimension. Uh, the main reason is that time being the fourth dimension doesn't comply with our concept of quantum mechanics. And quantum mechanics is the best existing theory, is the best concept that the entire humanity has uh, ever like developed okay so being like specific about how time being the fourth dimension doesn't satisfy our quantum intuition or our understanding of the quantum mechanics uh, we we can go one by one uh, i have like four or five major reasons why i am not convinced so the first thing is causality and determinism so if we consider time as the fourth dimension it explains that the universe where we exist it is it is actually existing as slice of the universe slice of the universe in dimension of time okay it means what i am doing right now is one slice of universe okay and what I will be doing after 5 minutes, after 10 minutes, after one day that, that exists in other slice of the universe and we are just approaching we are approaching next slice, next slice, next slice so the main problem with this understanding is that it completely destroys the, the uh, free will concept okay, it, it, uh, it directs us toward the understanding that everything is predetermined like I being here and you people being here inter interviewing me everything was predetermined according to this understanding and uh, this understanding uh, is never like never well digested by any physicist and uh, we point out to this understanding that no we are not satisfied with this so Moving on with the second thing is the time arrow. The time arrow. Whenever we talk about dimension, any fundamental dimension, we know that we live in the universe of three dimensional space, right? We can move forward, backward, we can move left, right, we can move up, down. But when it comes to time, time, the arrow of time is always in one direction. And we don't have any understanding that allows us to move in the backward direction of time so time arrow being always one directional right and uh, not allowing us to tra uh, like traverse in the other direction is the is one of the major part that suggests that time can't be a fundamental dimension like space okay that is that is also a thing and uh, if you move like when we talk about paradoxes okay there are number of temporal paradoxes which says that if we are able to travel in time it will create number of paradoxes like uh, we have heard about grandfather paradox where if we are able to travel back in time and murder our uh, grandfather then how will we be produced how is this present even present right so there are several paradoxes like these and uh, these also suggest that time can't be the fundamental dimension time can't be a fundamental dimension like space okay similarly moving forward we have like the uh, i i already said that the integration with quantum mechanics is the major problem so how how Time being the fourth dimension like stops us from moving on with our understanding of quantum mechanics is like we know that for any position for momentum 
we have operators and observables right right if time was the fourth dimension then if if time was such uh, an independent property like we understand in uh, classical mechanics then time also should have an operator right and whenever we we try to bring time we try to produce an operator for try time it's it's not an easy task we are always like oh no i can't kind of but so that is also a problem so similarly in quantum mechanics we we all have uh, we all are very much familiar with the concept of uncertainty of position and momentum right uh, this explains that uh, the more precisely we know about the position the less precisely we can know about momentum and the more precisely we want to uh, calculate or observe something's momentum then less precisely the lesser precisely we will know about the position right so similarly there is one more uncertainty that is uh, called time energy uncertainty so this means that i'll give you an example like uh, whenever we try to measure energy of an electron okay the more precisely we try to measure the energy of the electron the less precisely we will know the duration at which the energy was measured and that's that's an uncertainty and the more certainly we want to know about the duration when the energy was measured the less precise we will have the data for energy and uh, this this very clearly very clearly points that time can't be a fundamental dimension okay this uncertainty points that time can't be it's not possible that time being of fundamental dimension and there are there, uh, and like we know we know position and momentum right we we can we have analog for position and momentum in like x direction in y direction and in z direction but we don't have any analog that uh, of position and momentum in time dimension right we don't have any analog to that so there are like lot of things there are lot of things which which uh, which are trying to suggest us that guys time can't be the fundamental dimension and uh, we follow what we observe we follow of what we have the evidence so we don't have any particular evidence that would like make us believe that time can be the fourth dimension so this is the main reason that uh, we can't accept it as fourth dimension and i particularly am working on our understanding of gravity and time dilation without interpreting time as the fourth dimension that's that's what uh, the whole team is working on and uh, we are moving forward and uh, as we got suggestion right before this presentation uh, on our theory we, we are we are working on it and we are trying to make it a forefront of our understanding of physics and uh, if you people keep supporting us in the same enthusiasm with the same energy then inshallah everything will be possible so yeah this is why <laughs>